Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So, last time we had quite a lot of enemy ships running around here. They have managed to recapture Germany, which we have again captured back. So, now we are going to join up with our fleet here and looks like they have recaptured Crime. So now we're gonna have to get to capture that system again. Looks like this is an outpost if I'm not mistaken. Or not. It says it says that it's colonized so we'll have to send some some manpower down there and while I'm looking at this it looks like they have no manpower at all there so let's invade them ASAP hmm could pillage them get some resources or you could consume them. Okay, let's consume. Again. In three turns this system will be gone. In the meantime, let's continue on. Okay. Now that we have joined our fleet up, it's time to move on to Lupus again. Not the first time. So let's move on. Now Gemini. Let's see here. Got a maximum stock of Hyperium so we can sell some off. Sell, let's say 90. And I'm gonna buy Adamantian 9000. Okay, 22. Here is an Adamantian. I'm selling 90 Hyperium. Okay. That's better. Now I can specialize this toxic world. And I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's get the a temporal finance here. While on the steps world, I'm gonna prepare the edenization. Could also start terraforming it. It's much better to have it terraform into a protoplanet and to keep it that way. So let's start working on that. Let's see here at Lost. Got one hot Mediterranean world. Could turn it into a Terran one. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Now let's continue on. Okay, yes. Got one forest world here. Let's start terraforming this. Savannah one. And we lost a civilian fleet at Yisel. Ok, 
Okay, need to send this fleet over there. And take care of those ships. Let's get rid of this fleet. I don't stand a chance. Let's go part the shields. There they go. Now we'll have to get start a ground invasion. more than enough manpower to deal with them, so... Let's continue on. Let's continue with the post-relativistic stargating. Okay. Guard the system. Let's move the military behemoth this way here as well. Let's, let's get a hacking operation going. To FAD. Let's end turn. Okay, no changes there. Okay, we managed to get the st Stellar Strike Craft. Now let's continue this ground battle here. And let's consume this world as well. And Yanis has been marked by with a pirate mark. And looks like we are under attack at Orm by a large fleet of cloaked Horatial vessels. Need to take a look at that fleet before I make any decisions. What do they have here exactly? Almost purely projectile weapons and long range weaponry. Not too much short. Okay, good, good info. Okay, so I know that we're gonna go for, for turbo tactics. Got a couple of Reapers in the first lane. I believe I'd rather have two of them in the middle lane while having one in the second. I'd rather have it this way. Okay, let's fight. Okay, one decisive victory and we lost one butcher. Okay. Let's get rid of that other ship. Oh, there's another fleet here. Okay, this one's quite similar to the other one. Need to get some more butchers here. Could also get the autonomous administration. Let's do it like this. Okay, one minor victory. Plus another butcher. Okay, let's leave it at that for now.
and another battle at Orm. So let's fight. Okay, that fleet is down. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Hmm. Surprising new fell among current gen epistis. Garbage collecting, huh? something like this let's do it like this okay okay we managed to get a huge chunk of influence as well as the lodestone link and ethereal bulwark now we need to get those load stones okay now we managed to terraform this place into a jungle planet let's get the level 4 modernization up and running now So now Now that we have that lodestone link we can start building it in different worlds and if we have the resources which we don't we don't have access to um, or hell kicks but can get it from here, so let's start mining. Also, we have access to the core miner as well as these miners here, the deep miner and the fast miner. I believe I didn't upgrade my economic behemoth yet, so let's use the other upgrade. We'll have to send it back to our worlds to deal with those okay let's compare this, these fleets theirs is much weaker than ours so we can simply get rid of it let's go for power to shields I want that butcher to be in the middle lane. Hmm. Or should I do it like this? I have a lot of killers here and one butcher. I want that butcher to be in the third lane. And at least one killer here. And let's fight. Okay, one decisive victory. They have pulled back to the neutron star. Here the shields won't work, so they'll have a much bigger advantage due to the fact that they are using exclusively energy weapons. 
so we're not gonna fight them there under these circumstances okay so let's end the turn and continue okay now let's get another tag could get the wormholes that would increase our movement quite nicely especially here to Akamar and Nair once we're done with the Riftborn here okay let's get another hack going Isol's been colonized so now we can start sending cravers here and building the Attack. Let's see. Let's send some cravers from here as well as some slaves. Okay, so our new system. Let's send some from Orm as well. couple of slaves okay so we got another ship here I hope that you don't have anything else doesn't look like it so let's get rid of them Germany. Can remove that seism seismic activity and let's get another Terran world here. I can remove that shattered crust. Now, Germany is still quite mutinous due to the slave drivers let's get the feeding pots going in that case let's send these cravers over here we should also reorganize our population a bit keep the Epistus and the Harishams in the sterile world while the Riftborn and the Hisha and the other ones that will be way more efficient okay Additional Epistus here, a couple of Hisho here. So let's do it like this. That's more like it. Could get this little form modernization, but I'm not gonna do it here. Not yet, anyway. Next place that I wanna modernize is Zakor. Well, as octans. Speaking of octans, you could also get the feeding pods going. As well as we can modernize this world into a boil one. And mother upgrade octans 2 into a jungle planet. Now we have gained control over Vulpescula constellation. So 
we're getting a plus 15 percent more industry on our planets which is very good okay and is so still I picked these two techs first but I'm gonna start with the level 2 modernization okay now let's let's modernize our behemoth it's quite expensive but it will help us out with our mining so let's get on with it Let's see our fleets here. Okay, all of our fleets are ready, so now we can send them towards the next planet. I want to take out their home world, so I'm gonna prioritize that. I'll send the behemoth after them next turn. Let's end turn. Gamma absorption is done, so now we're gonna get some Quadranex, finally. Next thing we're getting is the Juggernaut blueprints, and we're gonna upgrade our Juggernaut our Behemoth into a Juggernaut and join it up with one of our fleets. Okay, add a serious hacking operation trace, let's shut it down. Let's get the Iron Discipline. Now here, Vega. Can get the second Toxic Planet, so let's do that. Let's reduce these Aurora Waves. And let's even these Cravers out a bit. Reduce the pressure these planets are getting to be more evenly distributed okay the Harishims will work much better on the desert planets so let's send them there let's get that level 2 modernization Okay, now let's send this behemoth that way. Got more scouts coming in this way, so let's remove them. Okay, that's done. Okay, now since we have mining probes here already, we can send this behemoth down to Quarius. Also, one thing that I would like to do is send a scavenger over to Elma because I see that there is a lot of curiosities there. And I would like to see what's hidden there. So let's prepare one and let's send it that way. Okay, this system is almost depleted. Okay, another level up here. Zakor. Let's get the blue sky speculator. Let's remove these fleets. Hmm. 
Okay, now looks like the they are aggressive for towards us. Let's get another autonomous administration going here. Let's start building the microwave pipes. What we could start building is some ships here at Zion. Okay, let's get one Reaper. A couple of butchers. Okay, nothing here. I'm gonna siege this world for a few turns. I'm gonna reduce their manpower at below 1000 and then I'm gonna start the ground invasion. And after that I'm going after fat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that terrible for now. Although they are aggressive towards us, I still don't want to provoke those guys. Not necessary. Okay, let's get a hack going. Hmm. Just send it this way. I'm gonna place a back door there. Okay. And turn. Fat hacked, so let's get another tech. Unstable isotope machining. And we didn't manage to get the means of production. However, we did get that plus 5 per epistas on sterile worlds boost for having two toxic planets. Okay, unstable isotope machining, plasma intensifier, continue with the juggernauts. Looks like we are under attack at Orm again. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, one minor victory. They lost they lost half of their fleets while I didn't lose a ship. We could continue on with that. So first let's send these ships out, let's join them up, now let's attack. There they go. Now Yanis. Got some geothermic activity here, let's reduce that. And let's get a Terran world here. Another level up on our hero at Orm. Now the last labor upgrade I suppose is the endless consumption, so let's pick that up. Let's take one more turn and after that I'm gonna end this episode. Orm has been compromised. Let's get the sleeper reintegration going. Just in case. We're gonna build the electromagnetic shield to boost the defensiveness of this world. As well as the microwave pipes to boost the economy. Okay. Lost has also a shattered crust, so let's remove that. We 
could get the microwave pipes here. Let's do that. Hmm. It looks like we have a lot more Empire influence now to spare. Let's see if we can use some thing here. Could get the lower fleet cost rule. However, we don't have enough influence for any of these. We won't be able to sustain that too long, so we'll have to work on that influence still. Okay, we can get another level 3 modernization, so let's take a look at our tier 2 colonies. Yeah, this might be good. Let's get the feeding pots rolling as well. Let's remove that geothermal activity. Okay, never mind, we are already reducing it, so... No trouble there. Okay. And Vega. Let's get to specializing the planets. Got some quadrants here, so let's get the slag and sludge up here. Here we could go for dust. I suppose I'm gonna do that. Well, here this temperate world. Could get some food here. Or an adenization. Same here. Let's get the adenization going and at this toxic world, another atemporal finance. Okay. After that, let's get the predictive logistics. Suppose I could do it that way. Get the AI labor going. Also, let's get the infinite supermarkets rolling to boost that happiness a bit. And let's activate the feeding pits. Six turns of attacking. Miners unions expanded mines for the Quadranex. And I suppose the colonial rights for more improved happiness. I could also get the Xenotrans agencies considering the Dark Glitter and uh, Giga Lattice that we have here. Okay, I suppose that's enough for now. Now let's look here. Let's send this probe out here. Let's start mining the Quadranex. Let's send the Scavenger out. Elma. Let's take a look here. Got a couple of atmospherics, some ruins, life forms, more atmospherics, some subterranean signals and ruins. So potentially there are some resources here. So let's send this behemoth that way. Let's see if we can mine some more resources out of that place. So, it's over 30 minutes, so I'm gonna end this episode. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you liked it. 
please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them, and I hope I'll see you guys at the next episode. See you around!